When we take the idea of a cavity brick wall and then say, well, what happens if we get rid of the outside skin? Well, if we get rid of the outside skin, maybe we start by doing a single skin leaf of brick uh, with an engaged peer, or maybe we do a, a, a double brick where there's two full skins. So that's one solution. We don't need a, a, a wall tie there anymore. Uh, but maybe we can exchange it. So maybe brick isn't the best option. Uh, brick is relatively small, and so that makes that process quite slow. So we could exchange the brick for other types of masonry, for a concrete block. So a concrete block is more energy efficient than a clay brick because it doesn't need to be fired. Now there's a lot of energy that goes into uh, creating cement, uh, so that's there is energy involved in that, but we also know that concrete products can last a very long time. So we can have a concrete block wall, either a hollow core concrete block, and hollow core basically just means that the skin on either side is continuous and then it's hollow in the middle. And this is a 90 millimeter range, so 90 by 190 millimeters high. So when we um, repeat that process, if it's hollow, basically we have, let's do it like this, 10 millimeters on top of the block. And then of course, if we wanted to, we could rake that internal face like we did with the brick. <clears throat> then we repeat. Uh, let me just draw another bit because effectively we see we see this a little bit in the background as well. And if it's hollow core, it could effectively look like this. And we just want these lines to be quite thin because they're in the background. Display center back. Move, multiply, spread 200. So obviously 200 is a lot taller than 86. So that's very efficient. <clears throat> so this allows us to create uh, a wall very quickly. It can still be core filled, but the cavity is so small that that can make it difficult to core fill without problems occurring. So let's just move this to the side. We can then jump up to from a 90 mil thick wall, which of course isn't incredibly strong. Um, we can have a 140 millimeter wide block and we can have the 190, which is more standard, and particularly for a retaining wall, the 190 means it's very structurally load bearing. And we're going, I'm going to show you the detail of how to do that when it is core filled this time instead of cavity. So let's move that back down into place. And we'll represent this mortar joint a little bit differently. And in this case, we want the concrete to go all the way down to the ground. And we'll multiply this. In order to multiply this, what I'm going to do is get rid of the outline. I don't want to see the outline at the edge of the concrete. Uh, display order center back. <clears throat> and then I can have a, a dashed line or a center line like this one here, because it's the same thing, still reinforcing. And for now, let's just have this running up here through the middle. 
or if we wanted to we could split that all right now we've got a module so we can take all that group it together and now multiply just like before just bring this down slightly and so now we see that that's continuous concrete in the middle we could have dashed lines if we wanted to represent this it's not necessary but uh, if it helps us to understand what we're drawing that's great so let's get a, a dashed line so effectively the it's not just two skins it's a block a hollow core block there is a, a vertical face in the distance but we don't see that we're not cutting through that we're cutting through the core which means we see the concrete structure and the reinforcing down the middle so that's our reinforced concrete block with external insulation and rendered so that type of a detail and maybe maybe we don't want to see the internal of the um the concrete block maybe we feel that that's not high quality enough so maybe we do a, a rendered finish on the inside as well and so we've got rendered inside and out uh, people would therefore call that you know full masonry construction or full brick construction the point is we're not using brick at all we're using concrete block and we're using insulation and the insulation on the outside externally insulated thermal mass this is thermal mass on the inside it's a very strong wall it's also a very good wall for insulation with both insulation and thermal mass Thank you for liking this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell to hear about new tutorials.